students come here, I think, partly because of our history. We've been around a long time. We, we're over 160 years old. We are the uh, oldest college in the English-speaking world, uh, specifically for agriculture. Um, that, that in itself is not a merit, but the merit that comes from it, of course, is the tremendous reputation that you've got and the tremendous alumni that have been through the college over the years. My name's James Price. I farm just north of Oxford at a place called Woodstock. Uh, we're cropping about 1,200 acres of arable ground, thin Cotswold brash, growing a variety of crops. About another 400 acres on a whole farm contract with the neighbour. We're growing milling wheat for Warburtons. We're also now growing wheat for Weetabix. We also have a small composting business where we're taking coffee waste from a local factory in Banbury, mixing that with straw and then applying that back to the land. Uh, and then my work off farm with Yara is purely involved with precision farming and specifically variable rate nitrogen. My time at Sirencester has contributed a huge amount to, to my success in future years. Academically, I took a lot away from the IOC. I mean, some of the key things that, that, that I pick up in my business are some of the budgeting, um, some of the crop science things, and some of the mechanisation. You know, they're, they're key, important things to what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. I think IOC graduates are employable not just because of the information we give them, but because of the way in which we teach and they learn to adapt and to modify and have the, in the jargon, transferable skills of communication, teamwork and understanding, basic understanding, that are what employers are looking for. I think the ROC can give many things to students that other universities can't. I mean, the, the, one of the most key things is to come out as a, such a well-rounded character, um, having learned so many different things as they go through their life at Sirencester and, and come out as a, you know, a very employable person. The college is very lucky in that we have a, enormous alumni and therefore if we want to do outside visits we do have a, a good will out there. And generally if we, we have somebody out there that we know well enough that we pick up the phone. So our visits are really reflecting what's in the curriculum. One of the strengths I think we have here at the college, which the students really appreciate, is the contacts, the network that you achieve when you're here at the college. The people who you know, the people who are going to be important in helping you to develop in your careers and in your business. Uh, the alumni network is, is, is very, very strong. Uh, I mean, a lot of friends that I was at college with have gone into many facets of the industry. And you know, I can draw on their experiences and they can draw on my experiences to, to gain information um, in everyday business life. The ROC has tremendous job prospects and if you look at the top of the industry there are our students in, in many influential places. So for instance Lord Stafford runs the Fitzherbert estate in Staffordshire. Sarah Mackey who did our agricultural land management degree is now a senior buyer for Tesco's. We've also got James Townsend who's chief executive of Velcourt which is probably one of the biggest farming companies in the UK. So they do occur in, in, all the top, in many of the top jobs in the UK. I'd say to any prospective students thinking of studying at the ROC, don't hesitate to go there. Uh, it's a superb place to go. I had a fantastic time. I learned a huge amount whilst I was there and I'd highly recommend it. <laughs>